trains. What's going on Japan? So I recently made an exciting new purchase. We've been making a couple cycling Japan vlogs here lately and a lot of people are asking for more videos and we've been wanting to go on longer trips but we just didn't really have the equipment to do so so we're starting to invest in some new equipment that we can use to go on some longer rides and one of those is a new saddlebag that we just got. It is a restrap saddlebag. You can see it right here on my road bike. Beautiful saddlebag, plenty of space to store a bunch of stuff. Anyway, we're gonna be doing a quick little review and test ride today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's review. Company based out of the UK, this is the Restrap Saddlebag. They do a bunch of handmade cycling products. They do a bunch of different bags now. They used to not have a really big lineup, but recently their lineup's gotten a lot bigger. This is what the bag looks like on the bike. There's two main contact points. One is these straps, which hook onto the rails of the saddle. And the other one is this front, which hooks onto the seat post. There's actually a double strap. So there's one strap that goes underneath and then a larger, more secure strap that holds it in place. So only two contact points, really easy to get in and out. And actually two parts here. One part is the bag holder and then one part is the bag itself. The bag just pops off right here, just undo this clip, pull out the strap and you can pull out the bag really easily. This is just a standard dry bag. So you just roll it up close it so completely waterproof and you can use different dry bags if you want to use different sizes they've got some larger ones i think this bag actually comes in two sizes we got the larger one of the two really lightweight solution especially compared to a full rack solution there's no extra metal there's nothing that's really going to damage your bike just a nice lightweight easy to use solution and as for what i'm using today i've actually got my drone in here so we're going to be getting a little bit of drone footage i was really looking for something that i could use with my drone to keep it safe one option is just to get a handlebar bag i really want to get one of those as well but i'm still looking for which one i want anyway this is the first part of our new setup we're still looking looking in the market for a front handlebar bags so if you have any recommended solutions let us know but this is i feel a lot more comfortable than using my pannier bags because the pannier bags they feel they get a lot more bumps there's a lot more pressure on them whereas this one i feel like there's a bit more cushion because it's just sort of hanging and swinging to the side. There's no metal contact points. Everything's cushiony. I also threw in a couple towels uh, just to protect anything else that I want to keep protected. Anyway, let's, let's pull out the bag and see the inside. Here we go. So we've got the 14 liter size. We've got the logo at the top of the bag so you can keep your stuff nice and upright. Just slides right out. Easy peasy. And there we go. We can just put all of our stuff in here. Easy to open this bag, just unclip and unfolds just like a normal dry bag. You can fit a lot of stuff in here, like I've got a full DJI drone kit, 3D batteries in the controller, as well as some spare clothes and some cycling tools. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Here's what the bag looks like without it inside. So if you don't have your bag on you and you don't wanna take this off, you can just tighten this together and you can still ride. And you don't even need to use the bags that they have set. You can easily fit some stuff in here without the bag, just like a plastic bag, and you can tie it together. Just really easy to use. 
So as for the performance test, how does this thing hold up? This is actually my fourth time riding this bag and I've ridden it a couple times, once 100K and a couple 50, 70K rides as well. So it's held up perfectly. I haven't had any problems during those times. Like I mentioned earlier, these are handmade bags. So the quality is super high. And also the price is a little bit high, a bit over $100, a bit over Ichiman Yen. I think it's about Ichiman Yonsen Yen here in Japan. So about $140. The prices might change a little bit based on country. So I'll add the information for that. You can buy it on Amazon. I think you can buy it directly from their website. I bought it from the local dealer here in Nagoya. If you're in the Nagoya area, I'll add the description there. So overall, great product so far. Really enjoying this, really satisfied, especially because in some of my earlier videos, people who've been watching this channel, you know that for our longer rides, I always used a red backpack and that thing hurts over, if you ride over a hundred kilometers and you got a heavy backpack, you got camera equipment in there and stuff, it, uh, <laughs> it makes the ride a lot more painful. My shoulders and back end up hurting more than my legs do. So this is a great solution because I can fit almost everything in there now. Hoping to complete the setup and get a partner for the front as well. Please leave your recommendations down below if there's a front saddlebag that you recommend. Anyway, great product, highly recommended. I'll throw in, here's a couple more video from today's ride and from the drone shots. We'll finish with those. <sighs> Almost forgot. If you haven't ridden with one of these large saddlebags before, it's completely different than riding with a normal saddlebag because of the extra weight that you're carrying. The center of gravity's changed, so the feeling of the bike is quite different. If you've ever driven a boat before, it's pretty similar to that. Uh, you can't do turns as quickly as you normally would do. You kind of just gotta take it more wide and smooth. The advantage of this is you've got more rolling momentum, so you can just carry like an insane speed or push like a really high gear and just feel like you're flying. Uh, but the disadvantage is anytime you go up a hill or you need to re-accelerate, you feel a lot more effort from that. But I actually really like this feeling and once you just ride for a few kilometers, a few miles, you adapt to it pretty quickly. That's something to keep in mind if you're gonna switch to one of these saddlebags. Overall though, really happy with this purchase so far. Really excited to see where we go with this bag this summer. Uh, as you can see by the insane amount of sweat on my face, it's insanely hot right now. So we're right in the middle of rainy season. I'm also making a couple videos right now about uh, rainy season in Japan, but basically it rains almost every day and the humidity is sky high. It's been like over 90% humidity, even at night when we're trying to go to bed. So like we leave the air condition, we've been leaving the air conditioning on like all day. Anyway, now this is the real end of today's video. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in this product, go check the links down below. If you're interested in more videos about cycling or life in Japan, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We make weekly videos and we hope to see you around in the next one. Thanks for watching.